So let's have a look at the observer archetype. The observer archetype is that person who's really, really good at sitting on the fence. They observe life. At the tribal level, it's because they're too frightened to get involved in life in case they get it wrong, in case they make a mistake, in case someone challenges them on some level. So they'll sit back and watch. The problem with the observer at the tribal level is that life passes you by and you do not reap the reward of the richness of being very present and actively involved. At the symbolic level, you get off the fence. You do the work that's necessary for you to do to build your self-worth, self-esteem, your confidence levels, whatever it is, to understand about how energy works more, to understand bigger picture that's going on and what's, what's the game that's really being played on this earth plane. And you, along wonderfully conjoining with the mystic, for example, you can then learn how to live in the world, uh, not necessarily be of the world, but you understand how to be fully participatory and be totally present instead of just observing. There is a skill in understanding and learning how to be the observer with the mind and not buy into all the mind's shenanigans and how monkey mind operates. It is actually necessary to have the observer, but you always have the observer at the symbolic level where you observe from a place of wisdom and power. Whereas observer at the tribal level, particularly where life's concerned, is sitting back because of fear. Whereas to be the observer of the mind at the symbolic level is nothing to do with fear. It's observing from a place of, well, isn't that interesting, but they don't buy into it. So there's no fear attached with that.